What is this skeleton riding and what is he doing confronting our helpless villager? Stick around for the actual attack in today's episode. What is up fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host Galadon. Thank you so much for stopping by the surprise and giveaway filled episode. Yes, it is sponsored by Amazon Coins. As you probably know, Amazon offers all sorts of discounts on in-game items and many of your favorite mobile games on the Amazon App Store with Amazon Coins. They're a digital currency. They allow you to buy Android apps, games, in-game items for less. The more coins you buy, the greater the discount. The instructions are right here and you're saving up to like 25% when you purchase the coins. You can spend the coins like money on apps, on games in the App Store. The instructions are all right here in the link link is down in the description. Make sure you click on it and check things out. And there's also currently a special offer for King of Avalon, you guys. For a limited time only, a wagon of gold in game for $99 gets you automatically a $50 App Store credit. Yes, that's that's my dragon right there, just so you know. King of Avalon, build your city, attack other players in real time PvP, and yes, of course, Dragons. Again, the link right down in the description, you guys, and thank you again. Now, let's get on to the episode. Yes, none other than our man Vav Vavson, you guys know him well, has come up with an incredible concept that we're going to talk about as we look towards Town Hall 12 and the rest of 2018 for Clash of Clans. Now, first of all, just in full disclosure, I always tell you guys in my videos, in my streams, that if I have any advanced information, I will let you know if I have said advanced information. Not that I can tell you what it is. Okay, but I'm just telling you right now, I do indeed have some information. I have a limited amount of information about what is coming in 2018 to Clash of Clans. And yes, it is exciting, okay? I feel bad for sort of teasing you with this, but I'm excited about it. Maybe I'm easily excitable, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to 2018, certainly. I mean, come on, you guys gotta remember, this is a mobile game that has lasted over five years. That is absolutely unheard of. And the Goblin maps, okay, here's the thing. The game comes out five years ago. Some kid named Chief Pat sits in his car at college and makes a bunch of videos about how to beat the Goblin maps, and history is made, you guys. Now, let me know, down in the comments, are you guys interested in a little bit of kind of like YouTube, YouTuber, Clash of Clans, Supercell history. I would love to go back and kind of reminisce and talk about those very first days as YouTubers and those very first trips to Finland and give you guys a little bit of inside scoop as to exactly what went down and how that all really developed. Uh, if you guys are curious about that, please let me know down in the comments. That perhaps could be a future episode. But in the meantime, we are looking forward into the future. Remember, there are still people downloading this game for the very first time. And the cool thing about it is, it's not like they're stuck behind. It's so much different than other games that you see, where maybe somebody is behind because they downloaded the game late. And what I'm saying is there are certain games where the progression just leaves players that join late really far behind. And I don't feel like Clash of Clans does that. And what I'm getting to is the point of the Goblin Maps. If you guys remember what the Goblin Maps were originally, they were basically a way to teach newer players how to attack. All right, it was also designed to be a way that you could kind of have some fun, you could get some extra resources, and maybe a little bit of entertainment. But of course, the Goblin Maps, they don't refresh, they don't provide any new challenges or any new resources, and we've never seen new Goblin Maps, despite the fact that Chief Pat spent years campaigning for new Goblin Maps. I can't even count how many episodes Pat made asking for new Goblin Maps, and I... Honestly, just about every time I went to Finland with Pat, he was asking the Clash of Clans team about new Goblin maps. So here we've got Vav Vavsen talking about skeleton maps. And if you guys recall, there was a little bit of developer talk uh, back in, with the community manager and the forums months ago about the idea that there might be something else like this coming. Now, the Goblin maps, again, were treated like a way to learn the game so skeleton maps might be a way to help teach players how to attack 
with troops on the Builder Base side. But then again, players who are playing Builder Base are likely a little bit more advanced than your home village. You can't go straight from home village at Town Hall 2 to the Builder Base. You need some experience. And so for that reason, I think that maybe just a tutorial style skeleton maps, as Vov Vovson has put it together here, is not necessary. But how about something that provides more of a challenge? I mean, I would love to see skeleton maps that become nearly impossible, right? That are so hard that you just have to get the attack just right. You absolutely have to use some sort of kill squad, a multi-stage battle in order to win. And that would be very cool. That would be something that I think people would love to play. And it would be something that you could continually try to improve over time. Maybe there would be a certain time limit or number of resources you can get or resource profit for the number of troops you use. If you guys remember that video I made that talked about profit and how much profit can you make from one raid, that would be a possibility here as well. Also, ideally, I would love to see a way to get something like this to combine with a clan effort. Uh, it's been my idea for years, almost as long as Chief Pat's been begging for more goblin maps. I would love to see some sort of clan effort that needs to be put together. And I'm not just clan games. I'm talking about an attack. A massive, huge village. Maybe it's an NPC village, meaning it's not other players or other clans. Maybe it's actually something more like a goblin map. But it's massive. It's huge. It takes multiple players to take it down. And it could happen over a period of hours, a period of days, weeks, even months. Something like that that a clan could work on to get another sense of achievement, of togetherness, of that communication and coordination that we see keeping Clash of Clans thriving even five years after this game has been released. And now I realize people are going to argue about what thriving is, but just check the App Store top charts, okay? Clash of Clans still shows up. There are developers out there who wish, who wish they could get their app to crack the top 100 and Clash of Clans has been there and better for five years solid. Now, before you go off and saying I'm defending Supercell, I'm sponsored, I'm working for that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is just me talking about a game that I still love. Now, of course, I love playing lots of other games. You guys saw I was just talking about King of Avalon. I play PUBG, I play Fortnite, I play Lineage 2 Revolution. I, I mean, heck, I play Angry Birds. I mean, come on. We all play lots of different games. And what about Far Cry 5? Come on. Anyway, so yes, I mean, it's just one of those things. I still play Clash of Clans pretty much every single day. I mean, I probably open up Clash Royale every day as well. Brawl Stars, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it for you guys. Once we get the confirmation that Brawl Stars is going global, I'm there with you guys, and we're going to play some Brawl Stars. But for now, I feel like I should hold off. I've got plenty of other stuff to do right now as well. So many games coming to mobile, so much time to stream that we're just going to wait a little bit longer before I really dive deeply into Brawl Stars. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what Vav Vovson put together as his theoretical attack. Now, this attack isn't the most unusual, unique thing. You can kind of see what he did to make it look like the skeleton maps. And this is just a general idea of something that could happen. You know, the goblins have the goblin village and the goblin king. The skeletons have the skeleton king and, uh, I don't know, he's riding a skeleton horse, I, I guess. I mean, I like it a lot, personally. I think Vav Vavsen comes up with the most incredible arts and concepts and theories and ideas out there. I mean, he definitely has a future, maybe at Supercell. You never know. I mean, he does live in that general part of the world, I think. But anyway, okay, I digress. So yes, we are definitely planning on seeing huge updates in 2018. It is so much more than about a new town hall, a new troop, a new defense. This game is widening. You can see with clan games, with the builder base, there is more of an appeal, a wider player appeal, and that's what they have to do to try to keep Clash of Clans pertinent. But speaking of pertinent, let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel. Do you want to see some Fortnite? Do you want to see some PUBG, Fortnite Mobile, PUBG Mobile? You name it, I am going to be uploading it because I still love video games. Yes, I'm a big kid at heart, and that's it. I'm part of the Galafam. You're part of the Galafam. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I value your time. I hope you guys enjoyed a few minutes. Now get down into the comments. I am putting gift card codes. Yes, 
gift card codes in the comments right now. I hope you're down there finding those. Best of luck. Have a great day. Spread the love. See you tomorrow. Full attack.